Good morning. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you doing? I hope you've been enjoying the recent vlogs on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. Today I am out and about in this car and over the weekend I put quite a lot of miles on this car driving up to Lincolnshire. The Audi A1 is a car that I didn't know too much about until I bought it and then over the last two weeks I've been putting some serious miles on this car and thoroughly enjoying it. So I wanna take this opportunity today to talk about that in between running a few errands. When I picked this car up on the 1st of September, two days later, I went and picked up my dream supercar, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560. So this car isn't feeling that loved. It needs a little bit more of a centre stage on my YouTube channel, so I thought today I'll talk about this car in a little bit more detail. So let's jump in. I don't want this video to come across as a review um, as such, because this is just a daily vlog and I'm in this car today. So I just want to... Basically, I'll show you around the interior of the car and show you how much leather you get on the Audi A1 S line. It's a 1.4 litre petrol and you've got this lovely leather stitched steering wheel here. We've got lots of buttons here which are upside down at the moment. The S-Tronic gearbox here is absolutely fantastic with the pedals that you can see here. This is where you guys sit up there and all the way across it has got semi leather seating. So it's got fabric on the inserts and then leather all the way up the outside and again throughout the rear of the car. Now when I got the Audi A1 I really did not know too much about the car. I didn't know what category it fitted in. Did it fit with the smart cars, the Mini Cooper SDs that I've been driving recently as loan vehicles and do you know what? I am blown away by this car, it's exceeded all of my expectations. Because of the size of it, I kind of put it in the same category as things like the Fiat 500, the smart car, those sorts of city daily drivers. And the smart car that I drove was absolutely fantastic around town, but dreadful on the motorways. And I didn't really know what to make of this car. Obviously I got quite used to the Fiat 500. The manual gearbox feels agricultural now, having this amazing S-Tronic gearbox in front of me. But driving this every single day is brilliant. And I don't really put it in the vlog, so I want to put it in the vlogs today because the trip up to Lincoln, which was a lot more comfortable and better than I expected, it was all motorways and the A1, which takes you all the way up north. Lots and lots of cool cars driving past, BMW M4s drove past, a couple of Ferraris, and this car, really really held the road a lot better than what I was expecting. The way that it sort of just sat planted on the road had a, maintained a really really good speed. It didn't slow down when you didn't want it to slow down. I don't know I'm probably rambling on a little bit but it exceeded all of my expectations and the best bit about it was when I was in, in the country roads, the single tracked roads, at night time it's brilliant because you can see headlights coming towards you and you know when cars are coming your way. Out in Lincolnshire, there's not many cars that come at you. So on the final part of the journey, I had a lot of fun. I stuck this car in dynamic mode and just planted my foot on the floor and turned into a rally slash race driver. And it was amazing. I wasn't expecting this car to handle as well as it does. The Vauxhall Astra understeered quite considerably. The smart car just had a very, very good turning circle, but if you start going into corners a little bit too fast, doesn't like it at all and just go straight ahead. It is time to get a move on today. I'm very wary that I might repeat myself from earlier on. So I went for a little drive earlier on and tried to, tried to give my views and personally, looking back on it, not looking back on the content, but just remembering what I said. I don't think it came across how I wanted it to come across, of just how good this car is. Just purely because I wasn't expecting it to be as good, as solid, as well built, but also as performance strong as this car is. I'm now headed to SB Race Engineering because I'm pretty sure ATW would have sent the final samples of the Supercars of London clothing t-shirts ready for the launch at the end of this month. You may have seen on Instagram and Twitter that I posted the 
launch is coming soon. And do you know what? <laughs> the time is now, what is the time? I've turned off the thing. I think the time's just past midday. I haven't edited yesterday's vlog. So that is what I'm gonna be doing at SB Race Engineering today. I'm going there, I'm picking up the t-shirts, the samples from ATW, and then I'm gonna be editing yesterday's vlog in the office. It is that time again, editing back at SB Race Engineering. Got the old cameras up there, it's actually changed place. And I parked my car next to Stuart's A4. So two black Audis next to each other, I will film it, but I need to get this filmed within 45 minutes because then I'm back out in the Audi, I've got a meeting, and then depending on what time that meeting finishes, depends on what I do for the rest of the day. I might need to pop down to Watford Audi as well, so I've got lots and lots that I need to get done, but this video is one of them. My main priority is nearly one o'clock. This video needs to be done and online by five. Oh. Oh. It's raining. Quick, 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 quick. Uh. Oh, oh. Oh, it's the worst type of rain. It's not heavy. It, it's light raindrops that are heavy. Heavy raindrops that are heavy is fine. You know you're going to get wet, but these ones just annoy you. They just tickle you all over. You know the ones I mean. Ah, oh, now it's starting to get a little bit heavier. But it's time to go to my meeting. <laughs> I can't believe the weather. It was nice when I arrived. This is what I mean by the UK weather at the moment it is so unpredictable and i have to oh there's a bit of traffic here i'm going thank you i'm gonna have to get the umbrella out when i bought this car it came with an umbrella so i'm gonna have to get that out i'm currently eating skittles and i feel like i'm driving up and down the same road all day today but anyway Meeting done, put my coat on. Rain was very heavy. I was trying to work out the way in which I was gonna phrase that. But, now the sun's out. So we've got the sun shining down on a very, very shiny road, which is hurting my eyes. But I'm now going back to SB. So far, the ATW package has not arrived yet, which is interesting, because it was sent yesterday, so I need to keep my eyes peeled for that. And at the moment, the day's going pretty well. I need to convert my YouTube video and upload it to the internet. The time is now three o'clock. So I've got around an hour to do that because I need it to be online and ready to go in time for five o'clock. But I always wanna be sure that nothing's gonna go wrong. So I always want it to be live by 4 p.m. So my plan for the afternoon is get this video online, head over to Watford Audi, I was gonna to go to, I oh know I need to go to SB Race Engineering first. I'm losing it, <laughs> I'm losing it. And a few hours have been skipped. I apologize for what has been skipped. So I think the plan was that I was gonna, oh yeah, I did upload the video, yeah, it's just gone live. The time is now 10 past five. And the video went online. So hopefully you've enjoyed that video. If you haven't, the link is in the description to watch the yesterday's previous video. So um, I'm now heading home after an afternoon at SB Race Engineering. I did a lot of admin actually. There wasn't too much um, exciting stuff that happened. It rained a little bit. A loud C63 went past, but I actually left my video camera in the car. Bad, bad vlogging technique that. <laughs> And now I'm gonna get stuck in traffic. This is the first time that I've been stuck in this traffic in about two months. So at the end of SB Road, there is a tiny little roundabout and this just gets built back from about half past four. But over the last two months, I haven't really spent that much time at SB Race Engineering, so I never get stuck in this traffic. Unfortunately today, I have left at 10 past five and I am stuck in rush hour 
traffic. Thursday is looking great. And on Thursday, I'm heading over to see Jonathan and Anna and Amelia and Eduardo, the Sacconi Jolies, in the Lamborghini. So that is gonna be a fun vlog. That's happening. But I think I'm gonna sign off now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry there hasn't been too much that has gone on apart from the fact that I drove this car in the morning and tried telling you about how good it is. Please take my word for it, it is awesome. I just can't really get my words out today. I've really struggled and I've had to take a few takes. Uh, few, I've done a few takes. Um, so maybe I will leave some in the, in the end bit so that you can see how much I've failed today. Maybe it's because I'm just a little bit tired. I don't know. Thanks for watching guys, as always. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new and I will be seeing you tomorrow for another daily vlog, including the A1, the Fiat 500, and potentially, if the weather's good, the Lamborghini. So that will be fun. See you tomorrow, guys. Cheers. Good morning. More about how it is like to drive. I've learned a lot. <coughs> um, it's a damp road. I'm gonna put it in sport here and see what happens if I put my foot down.